Migration video to Snowflake and up-and-coming popular data warehousing data platform for the clouds. We also show another small example of migrating to Redshift a popular Amazon AWS cloud data warehouse. We will demonstrate the ease of migrating off of some of the most expensive older data warehouse and database platforms to the newer, less expensive, more robust cloud-based platforms. We will also demonstrate the discovery and encryption of personal data while the data is being encrypted and secured in motion, so the data is secured and CCPA and GDPR and HIPAA compliant once it is at rest in Snowflake as we also do for AWS S3, Redshift and Hadoop. We also offer a complete CCPA GDPR compliance application along with a proxy allowing e-commerce and analytics for RDBMSs and cloud-based data platforms to work seamlessly with unencrypted data and encrypted compliant data. This is a world's only technology to date to deliver such ability. We also offer CCPA and GDPR for OCR, semi-structured data as well as biometrics for facial and object recognition. We also have modules for consent right of erasure and usage and to sell. Now onto the Snowflake migration video. Here we are viewing the Teradata customer table and see no values are encrypted, especially viewing the emails and the name Lisa. Next, we see the schema and the attribute sizes as these will be modified as needed to fit any data that becomes encrypted by our requests by patterns or values. We see there are no table names customer in Snowflake at this time as we prepare to migrate customer table from Teradata. We now establish the connection to the Teradata database, select the table or tables to be processed for migration and potential encryption and test the connection is successful. Now we select to migrate with encryption. We select from the dropdown to migrate the Teradata table to Snowflake and test the Snowflake connect is successful, and it is. Now we can select one or many patterns of data to discover and encrypt for data privacy and CCPA and GDPR. We select email pattern and we also want to search for the name Lisa and encrypt all occurrences of the name Lisa and run the process. Now that the process has completed, we can view the metadata on how many discoveries were found and where they were found. This metadata is available later for download. Now let's view the Snowflake customer table migrated from Teradata. We see as requested in our process the emails are encrypted as well as the name Lisa. We also can see that we auto-adjusted the schema and attributes for email to fit the new size of the encrypted email for it exceeded the originating 24 bytes Teradata had assigned for email. Lisa did not affect the size so no schema changes were necessary for the name column. We are looking at the previously migrated, encrypted Teradata customer data, in Snowflake. Now we will submit a process only with the proper credentials of course, to decrypt this process as a request came in for the temporary use of this data. Now that the process is completed it went from encrypt to decrypt. Now we see the email column and the name Lisa are now decrypted as we requested. Now we will migrate a DB2 table to Snowflake. We see there is no customer 1 table in Snowflake at this time. We will be migrating this table from DB2 with encrypted data next. Here we see the DB2 customer 1 table has no encrypted emails or encrypted values at all. We also see the current schema of the DB2 table that will be modified as required by the size of the newly encrypted data. Now we are establishing our connection to the DB2 server and then selecting the table or tables we want to migrate to the cloud. Next. We selected to encrypt selected patterns of data and select from the dropdown to migrate the DB2 table to Snowflake. Our test connect to DB2 is successful and we configure our connection to Snowflake and then test our connection to Snowflake and this is also successful. Now we will select the patterns of data and values of data we want to discover and encrypt. We selected email patterns and the name Lisa. We now run the process. Now the DB2 process is complete we can view the metadata of what was found to be encrypted and again download this at a later time. Now we are viewing the results of the DB2 migration in Snowflake and we can see that the emails as well as Lisa are now encrypted as requested in the process run. As we saw with Teradata and we see here in DB2 migrated data to Snowflake the decrypt process completed and the data in Snowflake is not decrypted as requested with the proper credentials. Here we see the test data 5 Oracle table with no encrypted international phone number patterns, name of Lisa or any of the table's data. Now we establish a connection to the Oracle database, select test data 5 table to process and test the connection, successfully. Next, 
we make a connection to Snowflake, select the encryption option and select Migrate to Snowflake from the drop-down options list. All is successful. Now we select the international phone pattern and enter the name Jenkins to discover for encryption if found and submit the process. Now we see in Snowflake the Oracle Migration encrypted international phone numbers and the name Jenkins. Here is a quick view of a DB2 table being migrated to Redshift with a discovery and encryption of email in Lisa. Also, the metadata and the results of the encrypted migrated DB2 table into Redshift successfully as requested. All the processes that are run and their detailed results are stored in extensive metadata catalogs and are downloadable, collaborative and can integrate into most any other metadata tools. As you see we store date time of processes, data sources and targets, what process, results down to the column and row and even more. Here you can see the vast amount of combinations that you can select for migration and CCPA. GDPR migration and compliance. This video demonstrates our migration to Snowflake release. We migrate data in motion with discovery and encrypting of personal data to Redshift, S3, Snowflake, Hadoop. Automated Spark application with GUI or Spring APIs. We also offer CCPA, GDPR compliance for, Oracle, SQL Server, Teradata, DB2, MySQL and PostgreSQL, S3, Redshift, Hadoop. Snowflake, MongoDB. We offer 100% remote delivery with results starting in hours. This Spark, Java application with a Wildfly GUI is scalable to petabytes. We deliver migration from on-prem, Oracle, SQL Server, Teradata, DB2, MySQL and PostgreSQL, 2. S3, Redshift, Hadoop and Snowflake. We have created proxies that allow e-commerce, websites, analytics and applications to communicate non-encrypted data with encrypted, compliant data with a simple port change for, MySQL, Oracle, SQL Server, PostgreSQL, MongoDB and soon, Redshift and Snowflake. Our CCPA, GDPR compliance offers, DSER, DPIA, discovery with encryption of personal data, outliers, AML, right of erasure, usage, consent, risk, business classification, Biometrics with facial and object recognition and more. Simply dial 847-791-7838 to set up a demo, a trial or get your project started. Email at steven at dpiacomply.com.